Some people like peaceful little fishes that gently hover in your aquarium. You may see the aquatic fauna poke their tiny little heads in and out of some aquatic plants. The community may be a wonderful site of serenity you can only find on a sandy Fiji beach. This list contains none of those fish. This is a list of the bruisers in the cichlid world. These are the fish that smash glass and you pray won't eat your newborn baby at night. These are the fish that makes your family dog cower in fear. Be glad these aren't the monsters capable of hiding under your children's bed. Number three on the list is a real bruiser. Literally, they come in three main colors, black, blue, and green. The Chacaria umbrifera, aka umbi, is a carnivorous beast which tops out at 24 inches. This fish lurks as one of the top five largest cichlids in the world. For this reason, they shouldn't be kept in a tank smaller than 180 gallons. The metallic blues, golds, and blacks give them the appearance of a fish with adamantium flesh. Color variants include the King Kong-like Gorillas Blacks and Gorillas Blues. The green variety originates from Panama and was cleverly given the name Panama Green. And the original blues pop out of Lake Guatape. If you're cruising for a bruising, pick a fight with an umbi. You'll regret it. Take a look at Forrest's videos for some up-close looks at some gorgeous umbies. It's not every day you come upon something with the word nasty in its name. Just like Vlad the Impaler earned his nickname, number two on the list, the Nadopsis hashiensis is one nasty fish. The common nickname for the species is Black Nasty. The Black Nasty originates from the island of Hispanola. If attitude is what you're looking for, you need not look further. This fish will tantrum harder than a three-year-old in the candy aisle. Cage this beast in no smaller than 75 gallons for a single specimen and don't even think about going with a community tank. If you're in for a breeding challenge, start with 150 gallons, a suit of armor, and a good life insurance policy. Visit Andy Woods' fish room for an introduction to the Black Nasty. Before I reveal the top tank buster, there are a few species which deserve some credit. Any one of these species can go Jack the Ripper when given the chance, and all could arguably be given a spot in the top three. The Nandopsis benii, a 10-inch bruiser out of Mexico, is a feisty fish that I think deserves a nickname. I'm thinking Frijoles Mala. The devil took a spring break vacation down to Central America and, after some drunken nights, left some fry in Lake Nicaragua. The Amphilophus labaceus, aka the Red Devil Cichlid, deserves an honorable mention. Up next are the Paracromus brothers, Motoguensis and Manguinese. The Red Tiger and Jaguar Cichlids earned their mammalian parallels. Speaking of redfish, one of the most beautiful and terrible cichlids is the Chiclosoma feste, aka Red Terror. The Amphilophus trimaculatus has a reputation for being beefy, brutal, and badass. Finally, let's shine some light on the old world. The Tilapia buticaiferiae, or zebra cichlid, is an aquatic monster from West Africa. Perhaps its other alias, the hornet cichlid, is a bit more fitting. Hide your kids, hide your wife because I'm about to reveal the number one tank bruiser in the cichlid hobby. This magnificent beast can exceed two feet in length. It's long reigned over its territory in Honduras, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. Fish keepers beware. It will eat anything that fits in its mouth, including fingers. This giant from Central America will make you think twice about getting that monster tank. Who am I talking about? None other than Paracromus dovii the wolf cichlid. If you wish to tame this beast, you're best going with a tank no smaller than 180 gallons. Be prepared to risk life and limb at feeding time. You may be better off surrounding the aquarium with an electric fence. Then again, that didn't work out too well in Jurassic Park. For some great looks at this beastly species, check out this video from Mambuna Marcus. Do you agree with my list? Are there any fish I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash aquastudent. A great way to support this channel and look good doing so is to pick up some aquastudent related gear at aquastudent.spreadshirt.com. If you're keeping one of these bruisers, good luck amigos.